Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining today's session. Um, this is our COVID-19 lockdown strategy. Um, today we'll be discussing on introducing Sophos Fish Treth. My name is Chisum Anisuba and Hamed Abudu will be taking this particular session. Last week we were able to discuss on Intercept X with ADR, which is Veta Kain took. So um, continuing with the Tuesday Security 101, we have this topic for today, which is introducing Sophos Fish Threats. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, just a little bit of housekeeping rules. I'll appreciate if everyone can mute their mics so it can be a seamless session and we can all listen and hear everything Ahmed is going to be taking us through. So um, today there are a lot of, we have a lot of cases where um, organizations receive malicious emails with clicks that appear as That's dates. Appear as and dates. Please let's all mute our mic. Thank you. Yes, so um, this is the reason why we're taking this particular topic so we can understand what phishing is all about and see how SOFUS can help us address this within an organization. Um, at the end of the session, we'll be taking questions. So if you have any questions, please hold on to them and we'll address them at the end of the session. We'll also be having an evaluation form, which we would like for all of you to fill so we can know how we're doing and make adjustments with reference to this particular session. You could also suggest topics that you would like us to discuss as well. Thank you all. And now I'll be handing over to Ahmed. Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry, my mic, my mic was on mute. Welcome to another session of our Tuesday Security 101 webinar. I promise today is going to be an educating session and it won't take much of our time today. So if you haven't been in our previous session, you can visit our YouTube channel to view the recordings of previous session. So I believe Chisholm have already spoken about the topic that we are treating today. So we'll dive into it straight. So we'll go to our agenda for today. Oh, introduction, sorry, my bad. My name is Abu Ahmed Okoyemi, and I work as a network and security engineer for Washem Limited. I'm a tech enthusiast with certification in Cisco and SOFOS, and I also like learning and acquiring knowledge generally. So our agenda for today is one, fishing overview. Um, we we'll take the type of fishing that we have, what fishing really is, what arm can be done to organization through phishing? Then we go to Sophos Fish Threat. That Sophos Fish Threat as a product for mitigating phishing and training our end users. Then next, we're going to identify scam emails. Here we show the possible patterns of scam emails and how they look like to our end users. Then we go to Fish Threat methodology. That's where we teach our users how Fish Threats work and every aspect of Fish Threat. So then we go, we dive into the demo and we take some questions in the question session. So fishing overview, uh, we start with fishing overview. Because of the current COVID-19 pandemic, we've seen a rise in work from home scenarios being adopted by organizations worldwide. Every organization are trying to adjust to the current trend. So this has left end users isolated from the IT team, which are more and more security conscious and aware. These end users are now vulnerable to attack that perpetrated by hackers, which is on a rapid rise. More than 80% of attacks are actually targeted as organization are done through phishing. Because it is far easier for the hackers to actually manipulate or trick our users into putting their credentials than compiling a long line of malicious code to just infiltrate their network. 
these emails are usually sent to the users and they usually resemble the domain name of the organization in which they are trying to attack. So we have different type of phishing here from my slide here. The first one here is um, email phishing. For email phishing, majority of attacks are done through this method. This type of phishing is a situation whereby the attack As malicious to their email. So the attackers almost similar domain name to the domain name of the organization in which they are trying to attack. Maybe they just change some few, just a single letter to be same to look like the exact domain name of the organization. So for spear phishing here, the spear phishing here is a more targeted form of attack in which the attackers already have some information or some valuable information about the users in the organization in which they want to target. This form of phishing is a, is, is a form of email phishing, but it is more targeted because the hackers already have the credentials also. Sorry, they already have the details of the users they are targeting in the organization. So we go to willing. Willing attack, they are more targeted. This attack are target at C-level staff like CTOs of organizations, the CEOs, the board of directors, the EMDs, and so on. These attack, they are high level attack. So we go to smishing and vision. Smishing and vision, they are attack done using SMS and video respectively. So on my screen here, we can see how phishing works. In where the Cyber criminal, they infiltrate the organization by sending an email into your network. That's an email to your users in your network. So, waiting and hoping for your users to click the link. When your users click the link, this takes them to a website hosted somewhere where they can either harvest their credentials. And after harvesting their credentials, they use it to assess your network, so this can compromise your network, or either after taking the link and taking them to the website where they hosted, they can download exploit kit to their PC. This can run malicious code on their PC, so and this can also compromise your network also. So this is an overview of how phishing works. So for my course today, there is no technology today that can be defeated, that cannot be defeated by social engineering. Social engineering is just an art of hackers into manipulating your users to get their credentials or whatever logins they want from them. And the technology is just as weak as the users. If the users are weak and not educated, your technology's flaws are going to be exploited. So there's nothing you can do about that. So that is why you essentially have to train your users so they can be more aware and security conscious. So what is Sophos Free Threat? Sophos Free Threat is a part of Sophos Central, which is a synchronized security software as a service platform. You don't need to install any server before you can log into Sophos Central. All you just need is your internet connection and your mobile browser, then you are into Sophos Central already. So Sophos Fish Threat provides realistic attack simulations. Here yeah, you can use different templates to test your users. It also provides security awareness training in which there are up to 50 to 100 trainings on Sophos Fish Threat that you can use to educate your users that is after testing your users. So it also provides actionable reporting metrics, whereby you can get reports from the fish threats on Sophos Central. So as I said earlier, test. The solution is Sophos fish threats. So the first thing is test. You are testing your users using templates on Sophos fish threats. So there are 
up to 500 templates on Sophos Fish Chatting, which you can use to test your users. There are the future templates, which are the current templates that attackers are actually using to manipulate users in the real world now. So those are gathered by Sophos Lab engineer and they are used on Sophos Central to train your users and test your users on Sophos Fish Threat. So it's training. So as I said, after testing, you can train your users with trainings that are already available on Sophos Fish Threat, on Sophos Central. You can train your users or you can decide not to train them. It depends on what you want to do. But the best is always to train your users after testing them. So you can also measure, you measure how your users are performing in the organization regarding phishing. Maybe you have plenty of users that are actually falling for phishing scams. So over 50 employee training modules, there are different employee training modules after testing your users. You can see there is the public Wi-Fi, there's the malicious attachments, there's the two-factor authentication, there are various ones and they are very educative that after the users are done with them, they will actually be educated about any phishing email and they will be aware of any phishing email. That's after the testing has been done by Sophos Fish Threats. Identifying scam emails. The first thing here is cyber spotting. The way scam email looks like, we are going to identify the patterns there. The first thing here is cyber spotting, in which the attackers they purchase domain names that are closer to the domain name of the organization they are targeting. So it might just be just a difference of a single letter or a single character. So with this user that are not very, very attentive or have eye for details. Those kind of users will actually fall for those attacks. So this is one of the methods in identifying scam emails. The domain name purchase or the domain name used to send the emails to our users usually resemble the domain name of the organization. Just maybe a few characters or just few letters or numbers. So also a scam email just as a messy layout you always see that sometimes not most of the time but sometimes you see messy layouts and spelling mistakes they have some mistakes there maybe just slight mistakes that maybe the hackers are just in a hurry to just send email there's going to be those mistakes there and they will be threatening you so that you can input your credential or they will be putting like a form of urgency for you to come and input your credentials on the link that they provided on the email So we are looking at what a scam email looks like. First and foremost, they are using the logo of the bank, that's Westwing Bank, that's there. The attackers are using the original logo of the company, that's Westwing Bank. And here there's a domain name where they used to send the e email with another domain name that's different from the domain name of the organization. So the attackers have already purchased another domain name, so they just put an update at the front of the westwindbank.net. And as you can see, there's a programmer spelling sometimes there. It's false fake urgency there for you to just, just click some form of threatening to tell you that you have to do this immediately. So they also require you to provide your personal information, maybe like login details and so. The fish trace methodology. Fish trace methodology. This is how fish trace works. First thing on fish trace is creating your or selecting your template for you to be able to educate your users. You create your campaign by selecting your template first. You can select up to five templates to save users in random manners. If you have up to like maybe 500 or 1,000 users that you, have. you want to test. You can select like maybe five emails that will be saved to them in random manners to test them. 
So after that, you can now select the type of training you want, or you decide not to train them, as I said earlier. You might sign up to train them, but it is always best to train them after testing them. So you can also provide a custom URL or sorry, a custom training, and you can put the URL on Sophos Fish Chat. That will redirect them to your own training that you've already recorded and hosted somewhere. So you can put the link in Sophos Central. So Sophos Fish Chat will take them through that exact training. Then you can enroll your users then. You select the users and you want, users that you want to test, then you enroll them. Then you can edit things such as the headings of the emails, the domain name that's used to send the emails. You have domain names that are used to send the emails on the first free thread. Those domain names are limited and they are only provided by Sophos. So you can select the domain name that you want. You can customize your attack landing page you can customize your training page you can customize your reminder page what i mean by training page is the page where your users will see that's the web page where your users will see when they are already caught and they've clicked the training link to take them to the training so it's a form of a web page you can also customize that you can customize the reminder page that's the reminder page when your users are supposed to be trained, they actually left the training without finishing it. So you can also customize that reminder page that will be sent to them in the e email. So then you can also select the schedule of how you want to send the emails to your users. Maybe you, you want to send them from um, August to maybe September, or you want to schedule them, or you want them once the campaign to launch immediately, you also have the ability to select that. And you also can select how you want to send the email. Maybe you want to send 5% of the email now and maybe send the remaining later or send 50% in two hours so that you will not choke the bandwidth of your network. Because if you are sending maybe a campaign to thousands of users, you don't want all the emails to go out at once. So you can customize that. You can say maybe I want to send to 10% of my users for, for two hours. So you have the ability to do that. So with that, that is how Sophos Switch Church work. Then you can create the campaign and the campaign launches after one hour when you've already created it. And the emails are sent to the user respectively where they are either caught or they report the attack back using the Sophos Outlook add-in. So this is how it works. You create the campaigns, just a summary of how it works. You create the campaign, you choose the training, as after selecting the templates, you choose the training, then you send the attack. You send the attack after schedule and doing all sorts of things, rolling the users that you want, you send the attack, then you measure, you measure which users are caught so first, switch chat has the ability to measure that you can also have all those reports on your dashboard on so first, switch chat on so first central. It will show you which users are caught, which users click the link, fastest user which click the link. Then you can improve by creating campaigns based on the users that are caught. So after measuring your metric, you can improve by creating campaigns that are tailored to users that are already caught. Maybe you create your campaigns, and out of 1,000 users, um, you have um, about 500 users that are caught. So with the 500 users, you can create another campaign to educate or to test them. Maybe they've gone through the appropriate training and they've learned their lesson. So you can also improve. So first, free stress has that ability also. So I'm going to take you through the demo now where I'll show you on Sophos Central how Fish Threat works. Let me, I'll exit my screen now and, sorry. So I'm on Sophos Central now, so I'm about to log in.
So I'm logging in already. Permit me that I'm sorry, it's just the network. Then I get my security code here. So can you put my security code, sorry, and my pin? Sorry for that. Um, it's just loading. So okay, I'm in Sofo Central already. So I created an email and I've already signed up for a free 30 days trial. So this is how Sofo Central looks like. So I'm going to click my free choice now. So clicking the free choice now takes me to the dashboard here. So this is what you are going to see at a glance when you log in to Sofo Central, and this is free choice. This is the product that we are talking about. So the first thing you are going to see is your active campaigns. You are going to see your last two active campaigns here. These are the, these two campaigns are the campaigns that are finishing early. So the next you are going to see you are going to see your organization summary, calls to open ratio. This is call to open ratio users here. Then you find your reports. Those who reports to the open ratio users. Then you actually find your call to users. This is one of my users here, employee two. This employee has been caught three times here. So I have another user here. This is employee one. This employee has, this employee has been caught two times here. So these are the dates that they are caught last. So I have my threat reporter to users. Unfortunately, none of my users has reported their threats or reported the threats. So I have awareness factor here. So I have 67% of the users tested. That means I have um, three users on Sophos Free Street here on Sophos Central, and only two of the users have been tested. So here yeah, I have my users caught. So 100% of my users have been caught. That means all the users that I sent campaign to has been caught. I have my last campaign here. What time did I do my last campaign? I did my last campaign two days ago. That is saying it's excellent. So the users who actually pass the training after they've been tested, I have 25% of the users actually passed the training here. So for the reports here, these are various reports that are available on Sophos Street here. So we have them um, all enrolled. These are all enrolled users here. This is caught users. This is are the users that are caught. Let's go through this. Let's check them. We have repeat calls and all that. So we can export this report to CSV file where we can use it to send email to our boss maybe after the campaign has ended. So we also have the ability to search the courses as based on the dates of the campaigns there. And as I said earlier, we can create campaigns with these users, campaigns that are tailored exactly to these users, these users which are caught. Then we can know maybe the users completed their training and are really, really, really educated about phishing emails. Go to people here. Uh, so I have the ability to add users here uh, on Surface Fish Jet. You can either add them manually here yeah, or you import them from CSV file. So, or again, you can set up an Active Directory. If you have plenty of users and your Active Directory, so you can just easily set up an Active Directory synchronization 
then synchronize your users to Sophos Fish Threads here instead of going through the stress of having to create all your users manually one after the other. So you have the campaign here. We have um, active campaigns for these are my campaigns that are still active here. So I have about five campaigns that are still active here. This is telling me this campaign is tailored to just one user here. Yeah? So the email is already sent to the user and the user has already opened the email here. Yeah? The user didn't report the email, so the user is caught already and the user hasn't finished the training. The user has skipped the training module, so the user hasn't finished. You also have the ability to create new campaigns from here. So at a glance, we click the active campaigns so we can check, dive into it further. So we can see how it looks like this is the active one of the active campaigns here. I can actually choose to end the campaign here, or I can add and release to the campaigns here. So this is the fastest cost user in this campaign. Employee one is the fastest cost user. The employee is caught one minute twenty eight seconds after receiving that email. After receiving the email in the campaign. So the device breakdown, that means that the email was opened on a PC here and the user is also caught on the same PC here. So this is how the email sent to the users look like. This is how it looks like. This is the name that comes with the email. You also have the ability to edit this when you are creating the campaigns. And as I said also earlier, you also can change the domain name here. This is the domain name that is selected when you are trying to create the campaign. So you can also change the domain name here. This is the subject of the email. You can also change it too. So this is how training mode looks like. So when it's sent to the user here. So settings there. Uh, this is the AD sync here. You can actually synchronize your users from the Active Directory here. Here, yeah, reporting message adding for Outlook. I said earlier that. Um, your users can report threats in Outlook. So this adding is meant to be downloaded and added to your Outlook. So the users can report threats with one click from your Outlook. So these are the sending domain names and IP here. These are sending domain names and IP here that you are going to whitelist on your network. So the email coming from Sophos Fish Threats won't go into the junk or spam folders. And this is your campaign reminder. This campaign reminder is sent to your admins when you have a campaign that has been created and maybe you've already scheduled the campaign to start in about six months. So you don't expect your IT admins to know that a campaign is starting. So with this, you can actually send an email to your IT admin when a campaign that you scheduled is about to start. So thank you. This is the demo session. And um, if you have any questions, you can take them now. Thank you very much, Amid. Taking questions up. Um, if you have any questions, please ask me. Hello, do we have any questions? Okay, but I'll be hopeful for someone to ask um, for questions to come in. Um, you yeah. could also fill out a evaluation form, which I 
put in the chat window. Please click on the link and let us know how we did in today's session. Also, we'll be having another session, the regular Thursday session, Thursday Tech Talk on Thursday. We look forward to seeing those of us here attend. Hello, Hamid. Hello, my good afternoon. I, yeah, I raised my hand, but I don't think um, Chisom saw oh. that. OK. Uh, someone asked me a question um, that okay. can, the, can fish stretch be only via email? Fish stretch is actually used to educate your users. Fish stretch can be sent via email. But the, jo the major idea behind fish threat is just to educate your users. After educating your users, anytime your users see maybe phishing text or using video, they can actually be more security aware. But fish threat uses email to test your users. Oh, oh, so that means um, I can't receive it on my Facebook or on my LinkedIn profile. I no, you can't can't receive that you can also always receive it via an email just send via an email so you compile your list of users so the email is sent to your users it sends their email so it's just only email oh okay maybe um i didn't phrase the person's question well it was like can i be attacked you know like you mentioned um vision. Yes, you can vision. you can be attacked anywhere you can be attacked okay. from your social media oh, you can okay. be attacked via SMS, you can be attacked via video phishing as vision also. So there are different forms of attack. But with fish trade, you are already educated. Your users are already educated and aware because it has already taken them through training modules and already tested them via plenty templates, up to 500 templates. Even the recent templates of attacks that are being carried out with the recent COVID-19 pandemic and all that. So your users can be more security aware. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank yes, you. Thank. Okay, thank you. Thank you for joining me on the session. Thank you so much. I hope it was educative. Thank you so much, Ahmed. Thank you all for joining today's session. Um, if there are no further questions, you can also reach us reach out to us via email to if you'd like to try Sophos fish, fish threats, you could send us an email via sales at hashem.com. If you'd also like to learn more about it, you could also send us an email. I just put the email address in the chat window. Um, thank you all for joining today's session. It's been very informative. Thank you, Hamed. And we look forward to seeing you join our session on Thursday as well as next security talk we'll be having, which is next week, Tuesday. Thank you all for joining and do enjoy the rest of the Yes, you can get the recording. We'll be sharing the record, uh, the link to the recording via email with everyone who has joined the session. <laughs>